So we're starting with a pot of water, sliced oranges, apples, a little bit of cinnamon, some cloves, and a touch of vanilla. You know, sometimes um, I like to add rosemary, but I didn't have any handy today, so couldn't add it. Um, but this smell gets me in the fall mood. So for today's video, my inspiration for what we're doing came from a, a couple of different places. So a few years back when we lived in Idaho, we liked to go to a restaurant that served some of their dishes and a big chunk of concrete. And that always made me happy and smile um, when I saw my daughter eating from there. And also myself, of course. Um, and so I've been looking for a concrete tray and have found a few online, all beautiful, very, very pretty, but very expensive too. And also the other um, place that it came or the that inspired me to pursue this idea is the uh, Wabi Sabi look. Um, that's, that's what I strive for. I know I have a long way to go, but that is my inspiration. And so I want to incorporate more natural touches around the house. Last year was all about the woods that I um, created, um, little trays that I put all around the house. But this year I wanted to do a little bit, um, go a little bit different and add concrete and stone. And so I stopped at my local hardware and there were only two pieces left. So I grabbed them and started and I started by washing them really well with dish soap. So then I added beeswax to make it more food safe. I'm not going to use it for food, but want to make sure that it stops any bacteria from coming through. I just added some little wooden legs at the bottom, but I do plan on changing it. Eventually I'm going to create some um, stone ones. So it looks very, very rural or very, um, I don't know what the exact word is, but um, like very organic. I've ever had a mirror in the kitchen but there's always a first time for everything right and I gotta say that I think it looks fabulous I also added a stone to add my coffee syrups here. very simple but yet functional so that when we're cooking we have everything handy but still give it that earthy feel love how it turned out and it, it cost me what maybe about twenty dollars for the two stones and the base wax and that to me is a win
Next to the sink, I added a wooden vase with some dried mushrooms. Again, going for that earthy touch. And then in the island, we just added a uh, vase with dried florals, a marble tray with some cinnamon sticks, and a fall candle. It was a simple way to transition our kitchen to the fall season. Although it's still very hot here, inside the house, it's fall for us.
All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining and taking the time to watch our video today. We hope that this has inspired you to um, go out and do something fun and create a little moment for you um, in any place in your home. And we hope to see you here again soon. Thank you. Have a great day.